and welcome back to another channel not another channel but another video of coffee and stocks today we are going to talk about very specific things with arc invest but arc invest but before we get started can i please ask uh you guys to drop a like on this video as well as press the the subscribe button uh, yes, I haven't posted in a while, but I do believe in you guys and I do believe that we will keep going on this channel because you guys are amazing. Don't forget, it is super hard to invest in the stock market if you don't really know what you're doing. So make sure that you guys are doing you guys' research out there because it is super important. So right before uh, we start, obviously, um, Katie Wood not really before we start but let's talk about this right so today june 28 2021 katie wood um is getting ready to partner up not really partner up but to come out with this first bitcoin etf guys it is freaking wild all right some a lot of people tell you that if you don't know how to invest in the stock market in specific shares you know go and invest in index funds go and invest in etfs now this if you don't know much about cryptocurrency this is perfect for you right this is something that you could have amazing results with because katie wood has become one of the best investors i've personally known in my lifetime i mean yes we have you know the other guys who do very very well but katie uh kathy sorry kathy wood has been amazing in what she's been doing uh yeah we have warren and all that stuff they've been doing great as well uh but kathy is changing up so many things and is getting everyone uh super excited now let's read a little bit more into this um uh, so you can throw uh katie Kathy Woods Arc invest in the ring of companies hoping to eventually offer a Bitcoin backed exchange traded fund. I mean, why the hell not, right? So, according to a regulatory filing on Monday, uh, Wood has teamed up with 21 shares to offer the Arc 21 shares in Bitcoin ETF. Um, this reminds me of like when um, scientists uh, come up with like a vaccine and they want to name it right after them. I mean, why the heck not, right? I mean, let's make a difference in the world. If this was to get approved and they have the first ETF, it will have the ticker symbol of ARKB, um, which would uh, be the Bitcoin uh ETF and they would follow the CBOE uh, markets um, as well as the S&P Bitcoin index and assets benchmark. So we look at the the Bitcoin index right here. It shows you everything currently going for 4,594 uh, in the one year. Uh, return has been 275.35%, which is freaking amazing. I mean, what the heck is going on, right? So. Uh, Woods uh, Prospectus is part of a growing list of ETS providers and fund managers uh, who are seeking to offer crypto in an ETF wrappers to the masses. We have seen crypto just getting wild, right? In the, the recent times, I would see, I would say, in the past uh, two to three years, maybe it has really exploded especially with those of deutsche coin uh who have exploded and everyone wants uh it to go to the moon especially the reddit people it is wild right so uh arc invests actively managed uh etfs have been under recovery after swanning in the spring in amid a rotation out of a large cap tech names uh barons reported that her fund has gained an average of 22 percent since may 13th with the flagship arc innovation or ticker symbol arkk leaving the chart up to 30 percent i mean 30 percent return average is wild i mean i wouldn't mind a 30 percent uh, return to be honest uh, what's ambition to the list what's ambitious to the list of Bitcoin ETF may pit her against grayscale Bitcoin uh, the trust a closed and 
and fund holding Bitcoin, which is considered one of the biggest cryptocurrency funds. Uh, they also have been plans afoot for Grayscale Trust to eventually convert to an ETF from its current structure. However, it hasn't yet applied to do so. I mean, I wouldn't keep it away from Kathy to, uh, you know, back up from this challenge, right? I mean, it, it is a huge deal to not just hedge fund managers, but also to all the investors that honestly want to put this on 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 their uh, you know portfolio i mean i know i wouldn't mind if we look a little bit into the history of bitcoin i know you guys can't see this much but i'm going to read it up for you guys in 2011 it suffered 38 percent crash um you know in 2011 that's 2011 so media in 2012 media attention and pyramid schemes push price up to the highs of 15 dollars guys this is 15 dollars right back in 2012 in 2014 bitcoin's first bubble as it surges $1,156 before crashing to $750 but i mean from $15 to uh, $750 it's not bad i do remember 2014 when people were saying that oh it's a huge bubble and it's gonna burst and everything that goes up must come down and yeah for sure everything that goes up must come down eventually uh, May 2017, it crosses the $2,000 mark. December 2017, it freaking explodes to $20,000. If you guys, you, those who invested in Bitcoin or cryptocurrency back in 2014 or 15 or 16, congratulations, you guys must be rich. All right, so in 2018, a second bubble uh, burst. So it goes from $20,000 to $7,000 that you guys can see down he uh, right here. Uh, in 2019, it goes all the way to $4,000. Uh, and then in 2020, it passes 11. And as you guys see in 2021, it passed $40,000, even at one point passing $63,000 per Bitcoin. I mean, I know it's super hard to get your hands on one single Bitcoin unless you own a lot of money or have a lot of capital. Uh, so definitely, if you guys don't have much money and really want to get in some of these ETFs, I mean, this would be a really great thing to invest in if it does get approved. If it doesn't, don't forget, you could buy partial uh, Bitcoins and all that stuff in whatever uh, platform you do own. Uh, so definitely keep that in mind. This is what I'm talking about, the $63,000 uh, that, it, that it exploded to back in April 15th, uh, 2021. I think the highest that it was, yeah, that, that was the highest that it's ever been. So that is pretty amazing that if Kathy, uh, you know, gets this approved, hands down, the best. Um, anyways, don't forget to drop a like on this video as well as press the amazing subscribe button. I will be doing more videos, uh, maybe not once a day, but I will come back and do quite a videos like this. And I will see you guys next time on Coffee and Stocks.